For those of you who didn't know, I was a part of the University of Tennessee uh, Pride of the Southland Marching Band and had the privilege and honor of traveling with the Lady Vol Pet Band during the time when Pat Summit was coaching at University of Tennessee. There are so many memories I have of her both on and off the court, but some of my most fondest memories of her off the court are when she would really go out of, when she would really go out of her way to come back to the band members and thank us for all of our work that we had done. It was truly an honor and a privilege to travel with them across the United States. I had the honor and the privilege of performing and traveling with the Lady Vol Pet Band, which meant I was also traveling with Pat Summit. And there are so many memories, not only of her on the court, but most importantly, the ones that stick with me are the ones outside the basketball court. And after the game was won or lost, there were times where I remember she would come back to the back of the plane at one point, and she would even just while she had the stare that everyone who was around Pat for a certain amount of time, especially the players, knew the stare and you knew to be quiet when the stare was around, but she was walking to the back of the plane after the Lady Vols had won one game, although she wasn't particularly happy with how they won it, but the moment she came to the back of the plane, her demeanor just changed. She had a warm smile on her face and she just thanked the band members uh, for all that we were doing with the team. Of course, we were there to celebrate with them, to, to obviously not celebrate when they lost games, but Pat Summit, it was a privilege and an honor to watch her work uh, throughout her year, years at the University of Tennessee, and I'm just so happy that I was able to share some of my memories with you guys.